Well, let's start with what sort of relevant experience you have. I've been in actively involved in the criminal justice system uh, since graduating law school, handling cases at all different levels here uh, throughout New York, from the federal level to the state level, county level, and local level, uh, handling eight felonies all the way down to violation level offenses. Um, also through that time, I have been an instructor uh, at business law in the uh, SUNY Broom uh, campus. I have also been an instructor on a regular uh, basis at the uh, Criminal Justice uh, Academy at the Broome County Correctional Facility. Um, also a frequent lecturer at continuing legal education seminars whereupon uh, we educate other attorneys in the community who need uh, a certain amount of hours annually to maintain an active license. Yeah. All right, so tell me, what, what do you think the main issues are in this campaign? I think one of the biggest issues in this campaign is the opioid crisis that we're currently experiencing here in Broome County. It's not going away, it's getting bigger, it's not getting smaller. That is a major, major issue that impacts so many individuals here in our community. And if we don't take a different approach, if we don't implement new plans, if we don't get creative, if we don't work as a team, we're not going to win it because it's clear we cannot arrest our way out of this. Yeah. Are there any specific proposals that you're working on that would address the opioid epidemic? There are many. One of them is restoring a working relationship with the men and women of law enforcement and the district attorney's office. That is paramount. We must be working together. We must address mental health. Mental health, I have found throughout my numerous years in the criminal justice system and being a defense attorney on the current drug court for numerous years, is the underlying cause of so many substance abuse issues is this mental health disorder. Uh, a lot of individuals are battling mental health, they've never been diagnosed, they go untreated. If we can address the root of the problem, the end result, the addiction, will go away through appropriate treatment, immediate treatment, effective treatment, and treatment that's long enough to be successful, we can begin to win this battle. Uh, why, uh, why do you want to be district attorney? My grandfather told my father at a young age, and my father told me that it's incumbent upon us to make it better for the next generation. I'm a father of five. I love my children. And every day I meet people in the community that have children as well. They love their children. There's no reason these children can't stay in Broome County. There's no reason why I hear from people all the time. You know, it's only three more months and I'm gonna leave Broome County. People don't feel safe in Broome County. Be the change you want to see in the world. I'm committed to doing that. I'm doing this for no other reason other than I want to make Broome County the best and safest it can possibly be. What we're doing is not enough. We must do more. I've been speaking about ideas, creative ideas, collaboration since the inception of this campaign. I've got ideas. I've got programs. I've got proposals. I continue to speak about that. It's those new ideas that are going to allow us to gain ground on this horrible epidemic because opioids and drug use and substance abuse and mental health issues are relatively related to such a large percentage of the crimes we see being committed every day here in Broome County. What sort of personal uh, skills or attributes do you possess that you think will make uh, you a good district attorney? Jim, that's a great question. Uh, the role of district attorney is not merely defined as going to court. You're not in court every single day. You're not trying cases every single day. Our current district attorney has not tried one jury trial since taking office. The role of district attorney is that of a leader, a manager, a supervisor, one that's from this area, one that was born in this area, one that was raised in this family, in this area, one that is still here today. You've got to be able to work with your community partners. You must have trust amongst the men and women of law enforcement. You've got to be able to understand budgets. For the last many years, I've sat on the board of directors of the GHS Federal Credit Union. For the last few years as chairman. On an annual basis, we balance a budget upwards of $150 million. I understand budgets and I understand what it takes to be successful with a budget. I have been the recipient of the Alice Mills Award that is given out on an annual basis from the YWCA, the uh, Young Women's Catholic Association. It is an organization here in Broome County that uh, acknowledges an individual who's been an active advocate for female victims of domestic violence. I have done that through family court. I have advocated for victims since day one. That's something I always do, ensuring they have a voice. That's something that I bring to the table. I've been an instructor. I've been a teacher. I've been a coach for many years. I understand what it takes to implement a teamwork approach, ensuring we receive maximum benefit from every individual on our team. So finally, the sort of catch-all question, why should people vote for you? 
People need to understand that in order to be successful going forward, we must have ideas. We must have plans. We must have teamwork. We must understand the area where we reside. Nobody wants to hear about the other candidates. What I found throughout this campaign is people want to know what are we going to do for them. I'm committed to doing everything I can for these individuals. It's no surprise that the most recent crime statistics put out on October 9th of this year from the Department of uh, DCJS, Department of Criminal Justice Services, specifically state, when we compare January to June of 19 to 18 in the city of Binghamton, we have seen an increase of over 60% in arrest for rates, rapes, over a 50% increase in arrest for narcotics, over a 20% increase and arrest for domestic violence situations involving intimate partners, over a 40% increase for motor vehicle thefts. And we've already experienced more deaths at the hands of opioids in 2019 than we did in 2018. We need change, we need creative ideas, and the only individual that can implement that change and implement those creative ideas is myself. I have a working relationship with the men and women of law enforcement. I am not opposed by any means to ensuring everybody has a seat at the table and everybody has a voice. We must bring people back together. We must ensure that everybody's involved and if we can do that, we can be successful. We need to establish a mental health treatment court. We need to ensure that mental health treatment services and substance abuse treatment services are immediately available for every individual. We must ensure that we do this because if we don't do this, we're not going to make Broome County the best and safest it can possibly be. Saying what we're doing is working and we're not going to do anything else is not what people want to hear. And I respectfully submit it's not what's going to make Broome County as successful as it can be. I've been here, I'm going to stay here, and I'm not going anywhere. And every morning when I look, wake up and I see my five children, I know I'm making the right decision when I announced many months ago in January that I am running for Broome County District Attorney. And Jim, I'll once again say I respectfully request everyone's support on Election Day, November 5th, next Tuesday. Thank you very much for the opportunity to sit down and talk to you. Yeah. And I always do give people an opportunity at the end of any interview to add anything else that they'd like to, anything I didn't think to ask. You know, the last thing I'll close with is I think this speaks volumes. Um, we talk about endorsements and we talk about the men and women of law enforcement. The men and women of law enforcement put their life on the line every single day. They work day in and day out in the criminal justice system. And I think it's important that we research who the men and women of law enforcement have endorsed, who they support in this election. I've been honored to have the support of Sheriff David Harder, the New York State Police PBA, Council 82 and ISUPA that represent numerous departments throughout Broome County. Former District Attorneys Gerald Mala and Patrick Monserrati. To me, that speaks volumes. These individuals know who they want on their team when we're trying to make Broome County the best and safest it can be. Because people know we can do better. And people currently, they don't feel safe in Broome County. The United Way just issued their community commitment plan for 2019 to 2022, what the United Way is going to do with their money to fund the appropriate organizations in Broome County. They did a study, the study went on for a couple years, and they spoke to individuals. The number one concern for individuals in Broome County currently is safety. People are concerned. And the interesting part of this report that I think is even more interesting is how is the United Way going to address it? Their plan of action is collaboration. The exact same things that I've been saying since day one. People are scared, crime's not going away, we're losing the battle, and the only way we're going to be successful is if we all come together. It's no surprise that the community partners, that law enforcement, the agencies, that advocates, they support me because I know I can do this and more importantly, they know I can. So Jim, again, thank you so much for this opportunity. I really do appreciate it.